Hey everyone, I'm Nadia Munla. I'm an embodiment and intimacy coach. And today I'm here to talk to you about how to reach enlightenment. Not exactly a small feat. However, it's actually a lot easier than we make it out to seem. In fact, the way that I wanna talk about how to reach enlightenment is actually talk about how I measure enlightenment. Um, and enlightenment, you know, is such a big word. So of course, in a way, um, I'm saying this all very playfully, right? But the idea of enlightenment um, can often be evoked as like the place I'm trying to get to on my healing journey, the place I'm trying to reach in my potentiality, the place I'm trying to um, stretch myself into in my personal growth, et cetera, et cetera. And it always tends to feel like a destination, like I am trying to get somewhere, I'm trying to reach enlightenment as though it's like you're getting on a bus and you're at some point this bus is gonna drop you off at the city, the town of enlightenment. And of course that's not at all how it goes, right? The way that I really see, you know, quote unquote enlightenment um, is actually about the way in which you address the process and the journey itself. So it's less about, you know, if we use the metaphor of the bus, um, it's less about where does this draw, you know, where's this bus gonna drop you off, but more about like, what is the actual mode of transportation you decide to take on this journey in the first place? Is it a bus? What type of bus? Maybe it's not, maybe it's a Corvette, maybe it's um, a motorcycle, maybe it is a sailboat, right? Who knows? But the mode of transportation, the way, the, the, the operating system and the way in which we experience the journey is actually in and of itself enlightenment. So let me be even more specific about what I mean by that. To me, I like to measure enlightenment based on your bounce back rate. Now it sounds like an internet marketing term, but it isn't, I had to Google it, that's bounce rate. Bounce back rate is the idea of how quickly after life kicks you in the balls, <laughs> I know this doesn't really work because most of my audience is women, but when life just like, you know, throws you a curveball, right? How quickly can you get back up and going at it again? And I don't mean going like, can you get back up and hustle, hustle, hustle? On the contrary, actually, oftentimes getting back up and continuing means getting quiet, slowing down, canceling a lot of things, um, praying, being, dancing, crying, uh, emoting, feeling. It does not necessarily mean getting up and going. Um, but the idea is like when you fall off, how quickly can you, can, can you get back on? And that means get back on emotionally, right? So bounce back rate, because the goal of life is not like, oh, okay, now I reached the city of enlightenment and over here everything goes well. It's like, if that's the case, why are you even here? Like your time on earth as a human is done, right? Like humaning, the human condition is about struggle and challenge and obstacles. Like that is the hero and heroine's journey and that's a beautiful journey and an incredibly um, growth creating journey. However, the growth comes not from getting to a particular place, but learning how to actually deal with adversity in the moment. You know, how does, does a curveball, you know, knock you down and leave you down for a really extended period of time? And so really, if we were to make this into a formula, which you guys have to understand, like I hate formulas and, uh, <laughs> I was a horrible student of physics and math because I, I refused to um, uh, basically do a formula that I didn't understand the logic behind. And yet here I am, ironically, 30 something years later, um, telling you about a formula. And this formula is simply how much in your personal growth journey can you essentially minimize the gap between you know, essentially stimulus and response or curveball and getting back up again, right? Because if you are um, just going down and going down for a long period of time, it's going to affect you and feel so much harder than just being like, all right, what else is coming at me, you know, and how do I approach it? And that's a, that's obviously that formula in and, it's, in and of itself is 
quite a variety of different variables. Um, it's you know your outlook on life, your belief systems, the way in which you can move energy through your body, um, your ability to slow down and be with yourself, to emote, to express. There's a lot of different variables, and this is stuff that we would do together over an extended period of time if we were coaching together. Um, but essentially the idea is like, can you minimize that gap and have your bounce back rate be faster? Because to me, that is actually enlightenment is being able to, instead of when you go down, have you know your inner critic come in and start to give you all the reasons why you suck because you're down on the floor and all, and you know have someone else another voice in your head like talk about all the reasons why the world is against you right like etc cetera, etc cetera. like all the things that might come up for us or how like you are broken and can't be fixed so instead of having that like being able to dust yourself off and go oh all right well that was a little mishap right there or that was a curveball that I wasn't expecting or that was something that I did that I made a mistake in. It's not always the world throwing something at you. Sometimes it's your own doing, right? And can I be compassionate and loving and can I just pull myself back up and without story, without shame, can I just go, all right, and we're back at it, right? So that to me simply is what enlightenment is and how you measure it. So try it on, let me know how it goes, and I would love to hear your thoughts.